Hello, I'm Ankush, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin, Ireland. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve an access denied error that is returned by Amazon Simple Storage Service when you upload an object to an S3 bucket that is encrypted with the default AWS Key Management Service key. Let's get started. First, confirm the following points. The AWS identity and access management user or role that you use when you upload an object to the bucket has the S3 put object permission on the bucket. In addition to the S3 put object permission, the IAM user or role also has KMS decrypt and KMS generate data key permission for the AWS KMS key that encrypts the bucket. If the Amazon S3 bucket that's encrypted with the KMS key and the IAM user or role are in different AWS account, you must make sure that the Amazon S3 bucket is encrypted with customer managed keys and not AWS managed keys. AWS managed keys with the alias AWS slash S3 don't allow for modification through the keys policy to add the IAM user or role for cross account access. However, customer managed key do allow the cross account access. If the Amazon S3 bucket that is encrypted with a customer managed key and the IAM user or role belongs to different AWS accounts, then you must add the KMS key permissions to both the IAM policy and the KMS key policy. The required KMS and S3 permissions must not be restricted when using a VPC endpoint policy, service control policy, bucket policy, permission boundary, or session policy. Let's review at these error messages that you get when you try to upload an object to an Amazon S3 bucket that's encrypted with an AWS KMS key without the necessary permissions. Let's see how to resolve the error if the IAM user or role and the KMS key belongs to the same AWS account. Login into the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the IAM Console. Choose Policies in the left navigation pane. Then choose Create Policy to the top right of the page. Select JSON. Update the JSON with the policy that you see on the screen. Be sure that you edit this policy and then update it with your S3 bucket and KMS key Amazon resource name. Choose the next button. On the review and create page, enter the name of the policy. Choose create policy. You can see that the policy is created. Next, if you are using an IAM user to upload to the S3 bucket, then choose users from the left navigation menu. If you are adding the policy to an existing user, then choose the IAM user name. Otherwise, choose create user for a new IAM user. Under permissions, choose add permissions. In the add permissions page, select add permissions. Search for your policy that you created earlier. After you select the policy, choose next. Choose add permissions. You can see that the policy was added successfully to the IAM user. If you use an IAM role, choose roles from the left navigation menu. Follow the same steps and then upload an object to verify that you have the required access. If your IAM user or role and the customer managed key belongs to different AWS accounts, then you must follow the same steps that we reviewed earlier. You must also add the IAM user or role to the KMS key policy to allow access to the key and then add a bucket policy to explicitly permit access by the requester's IAM identity from the other AWS account. Open the AWS Management Console for the account that owns the KMS key and then navigate to the KMS console. Choose the customer managed key that was used for default encryption on the S3 bucket. Navigate to the key policy. Then choose edit. Add the statement that you see on the screen. Be sure 
that you update the principal with the error of the I'm user or role. Choose Save Changes. Now, to add the bucket policy, to allow the cross account IAM identity access, navigate to the S3 console. Choose your S3 bucket. Navigate to the Permissions tab. Then go to the Bucket Policy section. Click on Edit button. Add the policy that you see on the screen and then edit your IAM identity and bucket name. Choose Save Changes. Now, the bucket policy and KMS policy are updated to give the IAM requester sufficient permissions. To verify the permissions, upload an object to the S3 bucket. So now you know how to resolve an access denied error that is returned by Amazon S3 when you upload an object to an S3 bucket that's encrypted with the default AWS KMS key. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.